Prometheus is referencing, obviously, the, the Greek character uh, who gave fire to man and then was punished for it. And I think in many ways that story can parallel what's happening right now with us and what we're giving um, and the artificial intelligence that we're designing. So in many ways we're giving fire to computers. The entire show called Man Overboard, this is one of those elements. Are we going overboard? Are we uh, asking too much of, of AI or are we asking questions that are going to push us further than we may want to? We have video footage of the dancers performing and real-time footage that's being collected while they're performing and then a large photo set that we collected ahead of time that Andy and Dion sent to me basically set up uh, a machine learning agent to try to recreate that same type of imagery. And when you see the AI, you can kind of see outlines of the, of the human form, but it's more alien than that. And it's because it's not saying this is, this is exactly what a dancer needs to look like. This is my interpretation of a dancer. The way that we're addressing AI through this piece is not merely as a technology that's, that's like generating some type of media, but actually looking at the process of how some of this technology works and using it as a foundational process to create the movement. I started to think, well, how can we approach this creative process and instead of trying to make the AI fit into what we do, perhaps there's like a, a feedback loop that's created where the AI, the way the AI works, is the way we choose to work in the process. We aren't actually generating the material. We asked um, our dancers to look at the AI-generated movement and try and create movement from the AI. So they're no longer, no longer am I the choreographer, but the AI is. So there's a starting place, there's evolution that happens throughout the work, and then I think it ends up in a really beautiful uh, representation of the dancers dancing and then also the AI performing, in my opinion, as an artist. And it's quite, it's quite stunning to look at.